Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank each and every one of y'all for clicking on today's video. It is beautiful, beautiful weather. Real chilly. That baby just went right through that gate. Mm -hmm. um, yes, it is a little chilly, but that's okay. It's supposed to rain for the next four or five days. But um, we have got some exciting stuff going on. This video is a little bit different than any of the other ones. I will say um, earlier our power went out so and it started pouring down rain so we ended up running into the house and uh, it rained for a good while didn't it Steph? Yeah it did. And the power is out. Um, we lost the power immediately when it started raining. Um, we contacted them and they said it could be anywhere from two to three hours. I don't know what's going on but anyways. It's nice that it's not dark yet though and it stopped raining for a little bit so we could actually go outside and open up the door so we can cool off the inside. Yes for sure but um, before we get to started we want to thank DJI for sponsoring today's video. Um, it couldn't have happened at a better time to be honest with you. Uh, we lost our power and we had to use it and I will let that footage roll here in just a minute but before we get everything started I have got to get our sign up here. I uh, meant to do it the other day, I just haven't, but Cassie with Walker Farm Fam um, sent me a message and said, hey Brandon, um, this is what we've done uh, with our packages, is set this out beside the um, our, our box so they know to put the, the mail in there. But I've had people say, you know, you don't want to do that because everybody's going to know where your mail's at. Well, here's the deal. We're just going to have to get a camera that actually points down at the actual um, the gate so we can see but we're going to take this and put how in the world are you talking about the trash can yeah I know I've seen that this morning and I was gonna say how did they get a trash can and they said that there's no one that runs through here. Yeah, they refused to give us a trash can. Are they connected with water? Yeah, I know they the got water, water people don't like us. They got their, their signs up as well. Well, our sign was gone. But there's literally, they've got a trash can. How is that? Maybe they Maybe there's a number on the side there. I'm gonna go I'd check rather that have out. that trash can. Yeah, that trash can would be nice besides having to take it to other places. But they got a trash can. So, but before we get back down to the house, I'll bring you to this point. Y'all remember we actually lost our guineas, the 50 guineas or so, and we had a lovely subscriber um, send us um, a letter. Well, that letter said that uh, she, had, she had received information from one of her friends that we possibly might be missing some guineas. And uh, so I called her and we talked back and forth and I, I told her, I said, you know, you just go ahead and keep them. Um, there, there's about 10 or 12 of them uh, left. Uh, the predators took out the rest of them. But I told her to go ahead and uh, keep them because they do not want to be at our property, our other guineas have ran them off, so we ended up um, just leaving our guineas there. Um, they they would come back, but they wouldn't stay. So I just told them if they did come back, we'd feed them, and if they stay there, you can go ahead and feed them as well. But anyways, we're going to get down here, and um, yeah, while we're running back down here at the gate, and we're going to put this sign on the gate. This sign is going, hopefully they can read that. But while we're doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and roll the footage from earlier. And once again, thank you to DJI for sponsoring today's video. It is finally pouring down rain out there. And as the storm came in, it also knocked out the power. So that's kind of the reason why we're actually opening get the video up here. Um, obviously, you know, creating content you know, like right now, I really need to be um, uploading videos and stuff. Well, you got a computer 
but it's down. So you gotta have power to run everything, especially or my editing program, but which that brings me to today's video. It is sponsored by DJI. The power bank I'm gonna be using is the DJI 1000 power, uh, power bank. And uh, I'll show you a little bit of it, which we've already got our, our light hooked up, but um, I just got it inside here. I'd had it over in the shop charging. Um, luckily, we've been running this for about, well, I don't know, we've been here about 10 minutes. It's running that light. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is scoot it closer uh, to the computer. So I can actually plug the computer and everything up. Um, I'll be able to plug my router, uh, all my internet stuff, my printer is all ran to one plug in over here. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So we can get this up so I can get my video loaded and uh, try to get it uploaded. I shouldn't have waited the last minute, but man, we haven't had rain or storm in a very, very long time. Um, but that's the delay for today's video is no power. But DJI is fixing to help us out with that. So let me get this arranged and uh, we'll get the power up here shortly. Forgive the floor. It's muddy out there right now and we don't have no grass. So everything's kind of mud. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in so we can. All right, the printer's up. Hopefully we can turn the computer on now. I'm very thankful that uh, DJI is uh, sponsoring today's video because this here definitely come in handy. Yes, we, we've tried other power banks as well, and you just can't have enough power banks around the house, especially when the power and stuff goes out. Um, Steph is actually over there cleaning, uh, doing dishes, and the kids are up there on our bed. That's probably the first, well, no, y'all seen the bed when uh, we got our new mattress, but um, you know, this is a, a little tiny cabin, but we make it work. So I know after this though, we've got to go outside and feed no matter what we still got to feed um, and, and just to prove to y'all the power went out right there i'm having to push the restore button now because everything is out so we got everything's popped back up it's in and uh, getting ready to go to youtube and get this started but while I'm doing this, I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about this DJI 1000 power. All right guys, so I had to do some adjusting around to get it up here because I do wanna show y'all uh, what this all, all runs. Right now I'm just running our computer or Wi-Fi, our printer, air conditioner and stuff right now. We're not actually um, running air conditioner right now. It's still pretty cool. Once it quits raining, we can actually open the door. And I've also got it running the light and the phone charger because my, ch Actually, Seth, plug my phone in there. Um, my phone is about dead because we was recording earlier today another uh, project. But I kind of wanted to go over some of this and show y'all. All right, so I'm going to go over here. This is your, uh, you got two plugins for your AC ports. And uh, once you plug it in, you've got to hit your button here to actually turn it on. Moving over here, you actually got your uh, 24 watt max USB-A. You're going to have two of those right beside it. You got your max 140 watt uh, USB-C. Um, this is going to be your charging port. This is where you uh, plug in to charge it 100 to 120 volt AC. Um, also down here at the bottom is you got 1200 watt or 600 watt. If you choose to go 600 watt, you uh, switch it over six. If you're going to go 12, you're going to go 12. So these are going to be your solar recharging or your car power recharge. Also, you can use these for the fast charging for the DJI drones, for the Air One, Mav 3 series, um, flat batteries, and more. There, there's several other things you can use those, those for as well. You can charge your power device in which just like our other DJI things, we can charge them all on it as well. The DJI Power 1000 Ultra High Capacity, the power output, 2200 watt stable output until the battery runs out, 2600 watt um, sustained for 30 seconds, 4400 watt peak output. Um, another thing about this, it is actually low noise during charging. So just to go back over these, this these here are gonna be your dual 140 USB-C, uh, ports charge all types of electrical uh, devices. Um, the noise output is just 23 decibels. If you was camping, 
Um, it's going to be quieter than wind. If you had it in your bedroom, it's going to be quieter than your uh, air conditioner. You're not going to be able to hear it at all. UPS mode is uh, 12 to 20 MS seamless power switching. Um, charge time with the uh, power grid or the solar power. Uh, the cell type is um, self lifespan safety feature. Rapid charging DJI drones. That's I think that's really big with the DJI drones. Um, because sometimes you just don't have the pl connections or the plugins. Now you don't have to have them. So if it quits raining a little bit, I'm going to uh, we're going to get, well we're going to have to go outside and feed anyways here in a little bit. But it is getting hot as y'all see. It's sweating. Um, I am going to have to move the DJI over there to where my air conditioner is at, and then um, we'll we'll also take the light as well. I'm hoping the power comes on here pretty soon. So let's go ahead and move this over there so we can get some air in here for the kids and Steph. And then uh, we're going to go take care of um, the animals. And I'm actually thinking about putting this on the side by side. But the only thing I'm looking on this is I don't have nothing to like put it in to keep it out of the weather. Um, but I could keep it in the shop and just put it in the side by side because we're going to be mounting the toolboxes to the side by side soon. But... I'm super excited that uh, DJI come out with their own power bank, the Power 1000. So let's move this over there. It is super hot in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to drag this over here because it is hot. And it's bad enough that we, we are living in this little tiny cabin and it's like camping all the time, but hey, our house is just about done, guys. And we're not gonna know what to do with all that room. So we're gonna go ahead and get this out here and as you see it right now it's got 107 watts we'll go ahead and turn it on all right so we got the ac on right now and as you see it's only pulling 681 watts this is a 1200 watt the bag which i was saying i need something for protection but i don't think i want to keep this in the back of the uh side by side but so i put this in in the back of the seat of the truck i can actually carry this with me um and we'll, I'll show you this once we go outside and it quits raining. It's about done raining. Hopefully the power comes back on. But luckily, uh, DJI saved us uh, today. So that is the carrying box with it. And the uh, components as well. This right here is where you're going to um, plug in. You're going to have two plug-ins for this. So let me. this is going to switch you over to the car. Let me open this. So basically, this is just going to be your adapter because... Um, you know, when you first look at it, you don't see a, a, a car plug-in, a cigarette, I call them cigarette lighter plug-in, but you can actually take this and plug it in right there, and now you've got your uh, cigarette lighter plug-in, or just say if you're out in the field or whatever and you need a air, air pump, you know, the ones that go in the back of the car, you can plug that in there, and then also this one here. So same deal here you you'll take this here because you look at it and you say well you got two only two ports there well you got other adapters that you can actually use plug this in and then you have your so you got your adapter um, here you can plug it in and plug this into whatever you need all right so we've got the AC hooked up we got the cell phone hooked up and we have got the light hooked up I'm gonna go ahead and add my DJI drone batteries. We'll hook them up. That's gonna be our last U, uh, USB-A port. As you see, it's hooked up. Should raise it up just a little bit. It's gonna raise it to 695, 694. Let's go ahead and put our DJI Mox. We're gonna use the USB-C. And that didn't take me enough. I'm trying to get this to show y'all that it will actually run. Um, there's another C. What about the coffee pot? The coffee pot oh, might you, run a you. little bit more than the lot. Um, let's go ahead and unplug the lot. Okay, that and shot it up to 708. But um, let's unplug this, the lot. Can you still see me all right? Mm -hmm. uh, we got the lot undone which that dropped it down just a little bit. The light wasn't pulling very much, but I do know these coffee pots pull quite a bit. 612. 
trying to push the limits here. There we go. There's 1197. Oh. That's pushing some limits there. That's way more than 1,200 watts. That's 1,734 watts. So obviously it will do way more than 1,200 as you can see there. Um, which, you know, they, they're going to put the minimum there. And not only that, I'm going to take you outside. I'm going to show you some other stuff. Um, I just think... It, it, and it's not really heavy at all. It, I mean, it's lightweight. Um, I don't know the exact weight on it, but you know, some of them that you get are really heavy. And the, this in here is the perfect size. Like I say, we're going to keep it charged. It's got a. Uh, we can actually charge it in the vehicle, and that way we will always have one of these on the road if we was to break down or emergency situation like we are today. Um, granted, you know, hopefully soon the power comes back on, but if not. We have enough of power banks. We can run all the ACs and stuff um, throughout the night. You know, DJI products, I've always loved them. Uh, uh, this is my second drone I've ha had with DJI. Um, the mics, I actually seen Ar Daniel Arms with the mics, DJI. So I reached out to him. He told me about them. And these things are absolutely amazing. So they're, they have amazing products. But what I was saying about the mics, we had an issue with the mics. Their customer service was unreal. We sent them the serial number, everything, and told them what happened, and they sent us a new pair. But um, obviously, that's just great customer service. But I'm going to get this unhooked, and we'll go outside because we got to feed. I got my wire out earlier. We got some projects going on up there. This is where I was putting my little flag deal. But um, anyways, um, we got the GGI back here in the back. We're going to use it on a few things outside, but as you've seen inside, we literally use that on just about everything. I got a little bit of mud in my hair. We use that on just about everything we had in there. Um, one thing I like about this package here, you can zip it up and you can actually um, charge it there. So that you can always keep this in the case. So if it does rain, you can zip it up. And then on the sides, I couldn't show that inside because there wasn't enough light. You got your vents. You can put your vents over here and then you got another vent on this side which I think is really cool because it eliminates, um, it eliminates it from being out in the, the weather. It's also got a, a bag back here that you can put all your, um, connect, uh, your, your plugins and stuff, all your extra stuff, wires, cords. Um, and one thing about the bag here, um, it's going to keep it, you know, it, it there's no need for you to even take this out of the bag. Um, you can put it in the bag and it's going to keep the, the raindrops from it. It's going to keep it from splashing. And um, I'm going to leave a link to all these items in the description box. I've never, I've never seen a power bank like this one, um, which I'm absolutely excited. We will be keeping this in, in the truck. It will be good because we can charge it in the truck if we have to. We will take that up there. I want to try to use it on uh, the chop saw or not the chop saw, the ta table saw because I know those are carries a lot of power and some of the power banks I've used will and some of them won't. So, so app, open this bad boy. It says please place package in box. Thank you. Walmart, Amazon, UPS, United States Postal Service, FedEx, DHL. I don't know what DHL is. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and place this over here. What do you think? Right here? Sounds good to me. That would be good, huh? Mm-hmm. All right, so we got it there. Let's check, see if we got any mail. No mail. But we even put it up over here, so... But anyways, we're going to go up there. We're going to try um, to actually um, use this on a couple of things and we got a feed um and then we're going to be moving the goats from this area over here to the pond oh, the area over at the pond and the reason why we're doing that is the construction workers are actually going to be working and we got to keep them pinned up and i don't actually want them in the back right now we're trying to let all the grass grow up so as soon as we get that all done we should be in good luck
I can already tell you right now, we're going to have to do something about that right there. Well, I, oh. Yeah, that ain't going to work. The gutters aren't up yet. Oh, okay, yeah, the gutters ain't up. So, <laughs> um, anyway, so we're going to get this out, then we're going to see if it'll run the, the table saw. All right, we got this bad boy out. Let's take it over here. Let's see if it will run. Same deal, come in here and hook this bad boy up. Now you on and off button right there, so you got Turn it on, still 52%. And we was in the house for a good while. Well, this here, let me fold it under like this so you can see the wattage. Because I know some of the power banks I've used it before in the past, has had a hard time running this thing. So it is actually running the table saw. So what I'm gonna do is come up here and raise this up just a little bit. And then I'm gonna get me a board to cut in too and see if that changes things and see how much it actually raises it up. All right, look down there, Steph. Bam, cut it. Even though it did go over 1200 watts a little bit, it still cut it. You seen what it did with the coffee pot, it will still run it. So let's unhook this bad boy and go inside. This is just like a uh, emergency response bag. Hey, right there, that's emergency response bag, guys. Everybody needs one. Same deal, we're gonna come in here and um, I'm gonna use the, the shop vac. I think that's the only thing we can actually hook up in here. Oh, there's a fan too. We'll hook that fan up as well. And then we'll give you a sneak peek of what they have done to the house. So let's get my old emergency bag here. Get the old DJI Power 1000. We're still at 50%. And granted, um, we did, um, you know, do a few things in the house before we actually come back out here and start the video on. So we're gonna go ahead and pick that bad boy up. Whoa. Turn that bad boy off. Fourteen. Huh? Fourteen. Fourteen. Come up here in the evening time and, and clean up. Because if you don't, it's just going to get out of hand. Now, granted, they, I'll show you here in a second, but they got all those scrapers. That's what we actually use to um, clean and vacuum and stuff. But anyways, let's go ahead and uh, hook in this old fan here real quick. That's one more thing. Let's we'll see how much this fan actually pulls. Does that oh, feel good? It feels really good. That fan only pulls 195 watts. It feels really good. The only thing I don't like about rains well, you feel, yeah. is it's actually it actually gets humid and then it makes for a long evening. Oh man. But anyways, let's take our, our emergency pack. If I can learn how to carry it. Take our emergency pack and get up here and put it on the back, other side by side, zip it up. And then let's go move these goats. We're gonna get the whole crew on here. And then we're going to go move these goats. Yeah, we're missing one, ain't we? Yep. Yeah. Man, I tell you, we've, I wish we would have thought a little bit more about the side-by-side -side deal. I wish we had two rows 
and then the same thing with the tractor you know I was thinking maybe get some hay equipment and do some custom hay belling and stuff like that and we didn't really know either and we were kind of told yeah we was kind of it can hold that stuff told that you know that our tractor could pull a round beller but I don't know we're trying to figure a way to get out of it um, we're in the talks of trying to get it traded in and get some hay equipment but we'll just see how I, how everything turns out I know, I know y'all can probably see that there's some things done back there on the back side but we're saving that for later um, there'll be a full video of all that going up but we're going to move all the goats over here because these guys are getting ready to start kidding so what I'm going to do is uh, we got some panels here I'm going to put in between and I know they probably follow us but I don't want to take a chance of them getting out yeah All right, this ain't nothing. We're just gonna put this up here so it's there, so they run in. Obviously, I'm gonna have to put one on the bottom. And then tomorrow, we're gonna to come back up and we're gonna pull all these poles here um, because obviously, Bushwhacker and them um, like it in the back better. Um, I'm gonna tell you, those guys, if you've watched Stephanie's video, you've, you've probably already seen, I had to go get them the other day Okay, this one will fold back this way and then somebody can stand there. So let me get this one going. I know, y'all getting ready to come across. Y'all getting ready to come across. Watch it, son. Go ahead. Oh, nothing's come on. Here we go. I'm going to pull it back. Watch it. Let them come, let them come. Oh. I got to start. You gonna let them out? I know, it looks like they're coming out. <laughs> go girls, go girls. Come on girls. Hold that right there, son. Don't let nobody out. Just hold it right there. Do not let nobody out. Come on girls. We'll get them here in a minute. Come on, girls. Come on. Hey, Come Romeo. on. Romeo, go. <laughs> go back in there. Uh -uh. There you go. All right, let them, let Case them walk back there and get behind them real quick. All right, here. And watch the ducks. Do we need to shut it because of ducks? No. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> hey. How'd you sneak out over here? You better get over there with your friends. Oh. Oh. Where's Romeo? <laughs> uh, Romeo can actually be free, I think. All right? Yeah. And then we need to let Let them stay Juliet. safe for right now, and we'll put Stevie over here and put Juliet, or no, we'll run Juliet out. And bring Stevie up here. You're free to go. Yeah. You're free to go. We'll, get it. Oh. we'll end up taking these and putting these back. Um, I've got some Pumita grass. I don't know if I'm going to plant it or not, but I was thinking maybe since they've ate it down, really go ahead and plant it, but maybe not. We're going to go ahead and tie this up here really good. Come on, girls. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That was this morning. I got to talking to Jerry and them, 
and I forgot to put my bucket back up. So it got wet, but it's okay. Come on, girls. Addison's already fed anyways, but I always come back and feed a little bit more because sometimes, you know how kids are. I just want to make sure they get plenty. And all the goats, all the goats are actually pinned up now. The real chicken man eat it. Yeah, I can eat it. Mm-hmm. That's good. Get your bite. You sure? You sure, boy? It's good. He's faking it. <laughs> all right. Anyways, we'll spread this out here and let the chickens have a good, good little supper. And then um, I got to go to the feed store tomorrow, so don't let me forget, Steph. But um, yeah, don't let me forget. But anyways, guys, um, I want to thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget, I'm going to leave a link in the description box to the DJI Power 1000. Go check it out. Um, I'm going to leave a link for all the items I had, even the bag. That bag's absolutely cool. Um, like I said, we're going to keep ours in the truck. And in an emergency situation, you just never know when you need them. And today was the day. Luckily, we got it yesterday, and then I, I charged it, and it was ready to go. But... Um, it's set. I'm going to leave, once again, I'm going to leave a link in the description box. Click on the link. Go check it out. Do your own research. I absolutely love DJI products. And then I'm going to pin a comment in the comment box. So, guys, thank y'all so much for watching. If you're new, be sure to like and subscribe. Hope y'all have a wonderful night. God bless. Bye -bye.